Welcome to Everyday Linux User. This is a short video today. Um, it's a bonus one. I'm going to show you how to rip DVDs into MP4 format. So why would you want to do this? It's 2023. There's services like Netflix, Amazon, Disney, Hulu, and about a million others. So why are you bothering to rip DVDs in 2023? Well, uh, as we've seen from Netflix, things may be changing. And uh, so um, how many times have you gone to watch a TV show that was there one week or a film that was there one week and it's gone from that service and then it's moved to a different service or it's moved to a different channel and it's hard to find. And in some cases, it's just not possible to find it. Now, most people have removed DVD players from their living rooms nowadays. So um, watching DVDs um, natively to your TV is um, problematic unless you have a DVD player. And so what's the option? Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to rip the DVD to MP4 format. In a future video, I'll show you how to stream that to your TV so that uh, you've got uh, a home uh, network for playing your movies. And yeah, so one reasons for um, following this video. One, Amazon, Netflix, Disney, etc. may not have the film that you want and you can get it on DVD. Two, you might be able to get it on Amazon, but it costs £2.49 for rental, or you have to pay £7 to buy it new or something like that. And then you find out that they changed the terms and conditions and you've no longer got that content anymore. Or if you've rented it, you've only got 48 hours to watch it. A lot of DVDs, uh, especially older ones, you can actually find secondhand um, for about a pound in the UK each, or £2 at most. So you know, ripping it once will save you quite a lot of money in the future to watch the same film over and over. So now I know a lot of PCs do not come with uh, DVD players anymore. Uh, so uh, you can use our old friend Amazon. And there's lots of external DVD players available. Well, you can save for laptop or you can just save for PC. And you can scroll down and let's accept the cookies so that's the other way. And as you can see, there's a whole bunch of them. Um, I'm not affiliated to Amazon in any way. Uh, I'm not getting any money from this. You can buy them for anywhere else, but you can see you can buy them for a reasonable price. Uh, a simple outlay, fourteen ninety nine for a DVD drive. Uh, so as you can see, there's, there's, there's quite a few options. Uh, I, I wouldn't go for the really expensive ones. Uh, the, the cheaper ones are just as good. And it's a one time purchase as opposed to buying the movie over and over again on the streaming services or paying a monthly subscription. So th there is a benefit to doing it. Uh, it's good for um, playing movies that you just can't find any elsewhere. So get yourself a external DVD drive, plug it into your USB port. Uh, so obviously this is using Linux, so um, the piece of software we use is called Handbrake. I am using Endeavor OS, which is Arch based, so I can use I can use Pac-Man to find it. Sorry. As you see, it's there, and I've already installed it. Uh, you can also, if you're using um, If you've got a system that uses Flatpak and you've got a software center that uses Flatpak, I, I'd imagine there's a Flatpak for it. Let's let's have a look. Uh, so I'm using Discover on Endeavor. I've installed the Flatpak. Um, so I can now search for Handbrake here. Does it show up? Yeah, there's a, a version there in Flatpak format. So uh, whichever distribution you're using, uh, install Handbrake. That's the tool you want to use. Use whichever package manager is available. So uh, with that being said, I've inserted a DVD player into my DVD drive. Or well, have I? Uh, no, I haven't. Uh, so you can hear in the background. And then place that in there. And it will wear up any minute now. Uh, and whilst that's doing that, I'm going to run handbrake. And there you go. And now um, what you're going to want to do is 
when when you're waiting for the DVD to wear up. I did buy a cheaper DVD player, so it's probably a bit slower than than it needs to be. But uh, it's only going to be used to rip the odd DVD here and there where I can't find them elsewhere. And as I've bought the DVD, it's I'm I'm sure, I'm sure it's perfectly legal to do this. So what you're going to do is you're going to open source, and depending on the um, system you're using, it might come under CD-ROM or might come under DVD. Uh, in this case, I've got CD-ROM, so I'm just going to click on that. And you'll see in a minute it's scanning title, and this little blue bar is going to go across the screen. I see it's scanning titles here. Another reason for um, doing this with DVDs this way is that when you have DVDs, you quite often have bonus content, and you don't get that bonus content if you're using um, a streaming service. So, like, if you like the extra features, I mean, the the, the video I've got, the DVD I've got here is called Clark's Two, uh, Kevin Smith movie, and it says loaded with over six hours of bonus features. Now, you're not going to get those bonus features if you buy it on Amazon. You just not. So the DVD is still, as far as I'm concerned, alive and well, even though it is 2023. So uh, as you can see, um, lots of titles. It's, it's selected this one. It's only one minute and 10 seconds. What you're looking for is the one that's a film. So the one up here, one hour, 33 minutes. And you get a preview down here. And down here, it'll show you what it's saving as. So in this case, Clark's 2, disc 1. Uh, other things to notice. Uh, MP4 is what I'm converting to, but you can choose other formats. Uh, you can web optimize it if you shouldn't really do that, wouldn't have thought. Uh, dimensions, you can choose which dimensions, uh, resolution limit, full HT is what I'm going for. Uh, add some filters if you want to. Uh, video, um, use it shows you the video encoder, and it shows you how it's going to record it. So I'm going to do it to a constant quality. Uh, what this does is it um, it does a two-stage process. So it the first pass, and then the second pass. The second pass is longer. The the whole process can take like thirty to forty minutes to to burn a DVD. It's something you do. You walk away and come back, and then your DVD is burnt. Uh, obviously, depending on how many DVDs you've got in your collection, will depend. <laughs> how long it's going to take you to do this. So under audio, uh, you can see it's English. Uh, make sure this is selected uh, in the right language. Otherwise, um, as I found out with Ghostbusters, I ended up with a German version. So I had to do it again. Um, or I could learn German. Uh, I did do it at school. Uh, wasn't very good at it. Uh, subtitles, you can choose whether to have them or not. I'm going to take them off. They're really annoying. Chapters uh, shows you all the chapters of the movie, and then you've got some tags, so you can add some more in there if you want to. And then you can choose what happens when you're done. You can show a notification, do nothing. You can quit handbrake. You can put the computer to sleep or shut down your computer. I'm going to leave it show notification. And then to start the process, just click the start button at the top. You can see it's scanning at the bottom, and now it's encoding, and it will tell you how far through it is. So like I say, it's a two-stage process. Uh, it's going to take 53 minutes to do this one. To show it works, here's what I did earlier. Deadpool 2 uh, and Guardians of the Galaxy. And that's really it. Uh, it's not a long video. This one is just a uh, guide showing you how to and why you might want to rip DVDs in 2023. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and click the, sub the subscribe button to subscribe for more content from Everyday Linux user. And thank you for watching.